Hello friends, my name is Sarmat. In today's session, we will learn how you can make a RSS feed of your website. Whether your website is static or dynamic, you can make it for the both websites, for the static and for the dynamic. Uh, for the static website, uh, if your website is running on a CMS like uh, Joomla, WordPress or Drupal, so you can create a static RSS feed and make it dynamic. Uh, or if you are using your own CMS or simple HTML or PHP website, so you can use it HTML and edit it manually. So let's see a simple website running on HTML template. You can see here, and this template is uh, basically developed in HTML, and uh, we will make a RSS feed of this template. So here are sections and tabs uh, like development services, marketing services and FAQs, showcase and credit and license so we will make a RSS feed of this website so let's start it how you can make a RSS feed in the Dreamweaver version 2015 CC go to the file and take a new file and from the here choose XML format and then press on create in the XML format write this code and we will write some other code like after that take a title and place a title of your website and close the title tab after the title tab place a link code and place your website link after the link code we will simply take a description code the description code should be same as you place in your website so go to the page source and take a description code from the page source from here and paste it here after the description code take a language code and enter the language that is en.us which specify that your website is in English format whether if your website is in other website you can choose a different one after that select an image the image tag is the most important tag you can write the alt tag of the image into the title of the image and take a title and name the image as the developers pk we will take a and after that place an image url we will take here um, the image of uh, the title image of our website that is uh, mostly used here but i'm not using any title image the website is based on whole text so you can also take an image as a fav icon of your website so we will list here a fav icon so we have taken here a fav icon image url and after the url Place the link again and this should be the main link of your website so place the link here and right after that make a height and width and the width should be 90 pixel this width is fixed for every RSS feed you're going to make and in the height section take a height as 35 and we are all done here so this is the simple coding of making a title RSS feed of your website if you are using a articles or some 
something else in your website so you can choose a different one that is uh, mostly use uh, items or whatever like thing so we will take an example of a simple item here so you can check this if you are using an article so how you can make a rss feed of your specific article so uh, and you have to make a rss feed of every articles manually by typing here uh, item tag and close the item item tag mostly contains the items of your website that is articles or some external pages or uh, any other thing so we will take a uh, item page of development services so just copy the development services or write it uh, in the title after that uh, you have to place the link of your development services so So make a link and after the link this is the description and you can briefly describe your page uh, whether uh, what content this page contain you can also place the description of your page uh, here so the information should be same as written here so as a demo we will copy this information and paste in the description but you should write the genuine description of your page which describes the whole page thing and after that create the close the item and you are all done now save the file and upload the file into the rss feed and link the file with your cpanel so in this way you can make your website rss feed static if you are using a dynamic website so you can use a wordpress plugin or joomla add-ons to link this rss feed with your dynamic plugin so it will automatically generate all your feeds and hope so you will like my tutorial you can follow me on twitter and like my page on facebook for more information thanks